Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be using a light motion to recreate Emangadji's animation. But before we get started, take a look at the preview. One is fixed. I'm gonna share with you the three best free methods to make your first thousand. One is fixed. I'm gonna share with you the three best free methods to make your first thousand. Dear friends, thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy them, please consider subscribing to our channel. Friends, please show your support by clicking on the thanks button. Okay, friends, let's do this. As you can see, I've already added my background image to the timeline. You can use your own image or video. To begin, we need to add our images to the timeline. Here is a diamond shape that I created using a light motion. You can download it if needed. Let's adjust the size of this image. For 50 is perfect to me. Now we will add the logo image to the timeline. We have to adjust this image size. Now duplicate this image layer. Select second layer and go to effects and apply Gaussian blur effect to this layer. Now adjust blur strength, maybe 0.2 is perfect for me. Copy this effect for future use. Now select these three layers and group them. Now we will extend all these layers durations to 5 seconds. Now move to 1 second forward and add a mark here. From this mark, move 1.15 seconds forward and add another mark. Now select this layer and go to effects and apply raster extrude effect to this layer. You can find this effect in 3D section. Now here, scroll up and expand light source options. Here change point light to flat. Now at this point, add orientation keyframe. Move to this point and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, change beta value to 15 and alpha value to minus 180 and gamma value to minus 180. Now we have this kind of rotation animation. Now here, decrease depth value to 5%. Now smooth orientation keyframe curves. Now we will apply smooth bevel effect to this layer. Now here, increase all options values to high, except diffuse elevation and specular elevation. Now at this point, add radius keyframe. Now move to this point, here decrease radius value all the way down. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now apply glow scan effect to this layer. Here, increase feather value to 4% and decrease smoothing value to 0%. Now at this point, add threshold keyframe. Move to this point and decrease threshold value to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now we will animate this layer. At this point, add position keyframe to this layer. Move to this point and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, change position as shown. Now at this keyframe, let's keep it here. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now we have something like this. Here I forget to decrease specular elevation value. Now it's perfect for me. Let's rename this layer as box. As you can see, the logo appears on both sides, I don't want to appear both sides, let's fix that. Duplicate this layer. Now at this point, trim this layer. Select this layer, and tap on edit group. Here hide these two layers. Let's see the preview. Now it's perfect for me. Now select these two layers and group them. Rename it as box. 
Now duplicate this layer. Let's change this shape position. Now tap on Edit Group. Select this layer and tap on Edit Group. Here, hide these two layers. Now import second logo. Let's adjust size. Now duplicate this layer and apply burr effect. Now extend these layers durations. That's it guys, in this way, you can create more shape animations like this. Here I created one more shape animation. Now drag pen layer down. Trim first two layers, at this point. Move 10 frames forward. Now move this layer here. Again move 10 frames forward. Now move this layer here. Let's extend all these layers durations. Now export your final animation.